Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. Today we're continuing to make our way through the book of Revelation. As you read through this book, I want to give you some thoughts that will help you better understand what you're reading. Today I want you to read chapters 4 through 11. In chapters 4 and 5, John has a vision of God holding a scroll in his hand. Now, a scroll usually contains a very important message. This scroll in particular contains a message of hope. It's a message about the kingdom of God that is coming to the earth. The only problem is that this scroll has seven seals on it, and so no one has the authority or the power to open it. But then John hears about someone who can open the scroll. He hears about the Lion of Judah and the Root of David. Now, we all know that the Lion is the king of the jungle, and David is the greatest warrior and king that Israel has ever known. So this Lion, this warrior, this king, he is the only one who has the power to open up and deliver this message of hope to the world. That's what John hears. But then, let me tell you what John sees. When he looks, he doesn't see a lion or a warrior or a king. Instead, he sees a lamb that has been sacrificed. Now, for anyone who's ever read the Bible, this is clearly a picture of Jesus. It's a picture of someone who doesn't overcome his enemies by killing them. He overcomes his enemies by dying for them. He's not out to defeat and destroy people with violence. He's out to win his enemies over with sacrificial love. As you read into chapter 7, you will read about the great army of the Lord. In this chapter, you will read about 12 tribes and 12,000 warriors in each tribe. Like Jesus, these followers of Jesus, they do not defeat and destroy their enemies with violence. They win them over with sacrificial love. You see the same thing a few chapters later in chapter 11. There are two witnesses. They too share this message of hope, but a beast appears and he kills them for what they say. But like Jesus, these two witnesses, they overcome death, and because of their loving sacrifice, many people believe. It's a picture of how Jesus lived his life, and it's a picture of how we're supposed to live our lives as well. We don't hate our enemies. We love them, and we even sacrifice ourselves for them. Now, I don't know who your perceived enemy is, but today I want to challenge you to love them. If you love them like Jesus loved you, you may not win the war, but you may win them over. 